Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be taking a quick look at the single rocker switch. So this is just going to be a single pull, single throw. Basically all that means is that it just controls one thing and it just turns it on and off. Very simple. It's going to have a nice white design to it. There are embossed letters on the front in kind of a gold color to help indicate which side is on and which side is off. So pretty easy to replace a switch that maybe is worn out or broken on your item. You can take a little closer look. You can see that writing. It might be a little hard for you guys to see there, but it is kind of embossed in the housing. The amps for this is going to be rated at 16 amps at 125 volts or 12 amps at 250 volts AC. You can also run a three quarter horsepower at 250 volts AC up to two, uh, uh, 125 volts to 250 volts AC. And it can run 10 amps at 14 volts DC. As far as the size, the actual cutout, so the, si the size opening that it will fit into is just about a little over half an inch, maybe right at half an inch, by about an inch and an eighth, but there's gonna be some tabs here, so you can push those in to create the tension that's actually gonna hold this in place. So if we push that in and measure from those edges, you'll need at least an inch and an eighth. You can maybe space it out to about an inch and a quarter, uh, but that'd be probably the widest that you'd wanna go for that opening to make sure that there's actually still tension to hold it there. The outside edges will be just barely under three quarters of an inch wide by one and a quarter inch long. And then the switch itself sits about three eighths of an inch above wherever we're mounting it to. Again, it is obviously white in color with the gold embossed writing. It is made in the USA. And that's about all there is to it for this little rocker switch. We do have some other options. If you wanna have one that is an illuminated switch, you can also find those here at eTrailer.com. So definitely something worth checking out and should get you out and rolling again with an operational switch. So I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.